Hello, I'm Fairfax Fair, a Presbyterian pastor in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to share with you some of the work undertaken by the International Health Ministries of the Presbyterian Church USA. As you might tell from the name, International Health Ministries, or IHM, is a global ministry of healing, justice, and compassion, one that cares for the whole person, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The vision of IHM is to empower and resource overseas partners of the Presbyterian Church USA to build healthier communities. IHM engages Presbyterians in health-related missions, works with partner churches and institutions, and responds to global health and development needs. In Malawi and Zambia, volunteer Jimmy Height, an innovative North Carolina architect, has designed shelters that help make it possible for orphan children to live with families and friends rather than in institutions. His design for a PCUSA-supported nursing school in Leogon, Haiti, is the first nursing school in Haiti to grant a bachelor's degree. The International Health Ministries Office worked very closely with organizers of Tuma Katana, a first-of-its-kind conference for women in Africa, where they discussed common issues and strategies to deal with them. Former PCUSA mission co-worker Carol Weinberg took a lead role in this effort, which brought together Christian women leaders from 16 African countries. The African women were overwhelmed by the sense of blessing and grace they experienced and developed a conference testament to address issues such as education, poverty, and the dignity and worth of women. International Health Ministries has facilitated visits to mission hospitals by Presbyterian women leaders, helping to broaden their knowledge and support. A grant from the Presbyterian Women's Birthday Offering strengthens the healing ministries of our partners in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The surge in mission interest among grassroots Presbyterians has sparked the formation of 30 mission networks. Centered on a particular country or region, these networks bring together people with a common interest to share best mission practices and coordinate their efforts. International Health Ministries facilitates the mission involvement of Presbyterian mission networks, as well as congregations, presbyteries, and individuals. Working together, IHM and mission initiators help our partner churches train community health workers, send U.S. physicians to assist national staff at mission hospitals, support community care projects for orphan children, and accomplish much more in Christ's name. The results of this teamwork often transform the lives of U.S. mission participants as well as those they help. International Health Ministries works with hospitals operated by partner churches worldwide. One is the Christian Medical Institute of the Kasai, a multi-service teaching hospital in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Working alongside Congolese counterparts are PCUSA mission co-workers Mike and Nancy Hanninger. They offer technical expertise and compassionate care to a population struggling to survive amid grinding poverty and a civil war that has claimed three million lives. Mike, a board-certified OBGYN, trains nursing and medical students in delivery procedures and attends births himself. He uses his surgical skills to repair obstetric fistulas caused by difficult births. Unfortunately, fistulas leave women incontinent and as a result, they are often socially ostracized. Mike's work helps restore a woman's health and her sense of dignity. Nancy, a registered nurse and midwife, provides patient care, trains village health workers, and works with severely malnourished children. With Nancy's help, families in and around Chikaji are benefiting from an unlikely source, the Moringa tree. Rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals, the leaves of Moringa trees provide a nutritional supplement that helps prevent malnutrition and anemia. Seeds and seedlings are provided free for planting in family gardens. Nancy and a Congolese agronomist help people learn to grow and care for the trees. 
The Christian Mission Hospital in Rishahi, Bangladesh, is well known for its treatment of tuberculosis, a disease that infects 300,000 Bangladeshis each year. The Christian Mission Hospital treats Muslims, Christians, and Hindus, and provides TB patients free treatment and intensive nutritional care. Mission doctors Les and Cindy Morgan help shape and support its community health programs, which serve the tribal people in rural areas. They also work with the Church of Bangladesh in clinics focused primarily on children. The Cairo Geriatric Center in Egypt provides holistic care for people struggling with Alzheimer's disease and other age-related conditions. And they provide in-home care to homebound patients. Many of the home health care providers are trained at Care with Love, a program directed by Dr. Magda Iskander. This unique organization is helping relieve a shortage of home health care providers while helping unemployed Egyptians learn job skills. Dr. Iskander is also the founding director of Health and Hope Oasis, the first nutritional center in Egypt for impoverished children with cancer. More than 22 million people in Sub-Saharan Africa are living with HIV, which causes 1.6 million deaths annually. Of those, one in six are children under the age of 15. International Health Ministries works with partners and mission personnel as they spread the message of prevention, care for the sick through home-based programs, and tend to orphans and vulnerable children through community-based programs. Malaria claims over a million lives each year and is the leading cause of death among children under five in Africa. Fortunately, because malaria is a disease caused by parasites borne by night-biting mosquitoes, infection can be significantly reduced simply by sleeping under an insecticide-treated mosquito net. Nets are effective, inexpensive, and easy to use. Led by the Presbyterian women's groups, congregations in the United States support PCUSA's Networkers Malaria Prevention Program by helping to purchase nets, insecticide, and educational materials. The lack of clean drinking water causes about two million deaths each year, mostly among children. Thanks to International Health Ministry's partnership with the Illinois-based Marion Medical Mission, Thousands of people in rural villages in Malawi have access to safe drinking water. PCUSA mission worker Jim McGill and Marion medical personnel help Malawians develop and maintain safe water supplies. The water comes primarily from shallow wells that are dug and maintained by Malawians. Inscribed on the concrete top slab of every well is a phrase that in English is translated, Glory be to God. International Health Ministry seeks to bring glory to God, continuing the Presbyterian mission, more than a century old, of caring for the neediest of God's children. IHM is tackling health issues that are massive in scope. And while they alone cannot solve all the world's health problems, they continue to make a difference in the lives of thousands of people. Their presence offers a visible witness to the compassion and hope of Jesus Christ. Please pray for the Presbyterian Church USA's International Health Ministry staff and their international partners as they seek to build healthy communities around the world in Christ's name. <laughs>